Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video here. I will be showing you a tutorial on how to manage worlds. So majorly on how you can import worlds or use schematics or add additional worlds or just like you know like uh, change your uh, root world, the one where you're like primarily playing on. So yeah, uh, let's get into the video. Alright, so before we get started, make sure you got Aspire Hosting. They provide services in locations like Singapore, Germany, Australia, and even Los Angeles. And they provide services like Minecraft Hosting, CPanel Web Hosting, Direct Admin Web Hosting, and even Discord Board Hosting. Use code Arrow for a total of 15% off recurring 5 billing periods. Alright, so uh, we are here, and just make sure that you have fast as an equal edit which I have it here so let's just check it fave yeah so I have it here fave uh, if you want to download it you can just like search fave and then you can download whatever version you are using so now uh, what you need to do is uh, let's show you it alright so if you want to download fast SNIC, you can just search fave and then uh, you can just download it from here so yeah you can just download it from here this is the one so don't forget this is the one so now what you need to do is you need to find a schematic so let so you can what you can do is you can search on planet minecraft so just so just say planet minecraft and then uh go to uh let's say so planet minecraft lobby schematic so now you can just go here and then uh, you can download any schematic so probably this is this is the schematic let's go for this so yeah as you can see this is a schematic so let's just wait five seconds So now uh, you can just go back to your file manager and here here's the folder so go here and then you'll find a folder called schematics go here uh, upload the art dot one schematic now go back in game uh, let's turn this weather back to sun okay anyways now what you need to do is you just need to do scam list and then you'll find the list so you can just click on this uh, and then it'll, uh, auto paste the message if it doesn't you can just do double uh, slash and then schematic load and the name which is art okay it's not art it's art one uh okay wait it's art one schematic yeah there it is so now what you can do is uh let's just fly a little up in the sky so that it doesn't break any of the current uh like the terrain so let's just go a little up and uh, now you can just do paste so as you can see you have pasted a whole build and uh, it's pretty cool uh you have the old lobby over here so that's how uh loading schematics works if you were curious in the past uh now the suggestion would be that to load it in a void or a flat world uh so that like people don't jump into the terrain and start playing minecraft i mean that is the game uh but anyways uh so like this is pretty much how you do it but like if you want to upload it in a void this generally like generators so like you can just search void gen and then find some void gens so basically you need to load these plugins and there's a certain command here so you're supposed to use this particular command uh, to like generate voids so that this is the particular command uh, but there are other ways too where you can like just search a void world scene so let's go to planet minecraft and then search void uh, let's not okay that's not void so void planet minecraft world so you can just find here Okay, there are two void worlds here, so which you can use. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you can just you directly use them without needing our generator file because, like, I mean, this is pretty easy actually because if you just upload it, uh, like you just upload it here and then like you can generate it. So let me show you that now. So now I'm going to show you how to import an additional world. So let's go. Okay, this is Medrock. Never mind. Let's look here. Okay, this is. I think this is the Minecraft world. So let's get here. Okay, uh, I think this is the one so let's just upload it okay let's check if it's yeah so this is the world file so you can just go to file manager uh you can just upload this here and then you can like unarchive it here so unarchive it let's get it here so you can just put it like void and now you need to have a plugin called multiverse core so you can just search multiverse core and then you can go here uh, don't need to worry about the tested Minecraft versions. Uh, I can personally tell you that it works up to 1.21. Uh, 
so you don't need to worry about it so you can just go back and type mv uh, so this is the list of commands so what you need to do is you can type mv import or just mv import with a space and then the world name so which is void and then normal and it's going to say failed but that's actually uh, i mean 90% of the time that's not what it is so a fix for this is mostly just go back and restart the server and you'll be surprised that when you start the server it'll be loaded if it doesn't load uh, what you can do is uh, you can just like uh, i mean that is the process i'm not gonna, uh, like i have nothing else to tell you on how to do it but if you like once you do it right like you can just do mvtp and the world name which is void uh, at this point i'm unable to show you an example of uh, what to do because like it didn't work out so that is the situation uh, if it gets stuck you can just restart it again so yeah that's pretty much how you import additional worlds so now i'm going to show you how to uh, change the root world so pretty much like uh, as you can see this is the world here it's been created or imported whatever and like if you want to change that or let's say I have another world which is called raceway so i can just go here uh, and uh, i need to look for a file called server.properties which is here and now i need to go to level name so it is level name and once you and once you're there you can just like uh, edit the world file here and you can just edit this here uh, so currently it's uh, named world you can just change it to raceway and then you just save it and then what happens is like once you start the server you're basically loaded into raceway uh, and that's how it is and another way is like uh, let's say like if you want uh, there are some situations where you don't want to go to server.properties and set the root world because the uh, because you want a world to generate another uh, it's a bit complicated but let's say uh, uh, let's just say that there's another way so the uh, another way is you go to multiverse core folder uh, you go to multiverse core folder uh, go to config and then here uh, you edit the world uh, which you spawn first so this is pretty much used by survival servers you know the custom survival servers where, is it, where there's a separate spawn uh, and people have like they have a, a random teleport and then they teleport to a world and then the same world has another so like people actually use this system where uh, they view spawn so that people teleport to the spawn at first uh, and then uh, they leave world as it is because they want uh, world to generate nether files uh, so it, it's pretty much like that because like now if you because uh, it doesn't generate nether for every world so now let's just try to join back the server uh, let's TP to a uh, void. Let's just check if it worked. So let's just do MVTP void. So there's this uh, part called MVTP uh, uh, raceway. So that's already imported. So if you want to TP to it, you can just uh, TP uh, and MVTP and raceway. And then it, it's going to ask you to confirm, which you can just confirm. And as you can see, uh, you have confirmed and now you are in the world. So this is pretty much how it is. Uh, that's how it works. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more similar content. See ya.